A big show of defiance outside Ibrox yesterday with the club in crisis. The game against Kilmarnock sold out as Rangers plunged into administration. Supporters are angry at the financial mismanagement of their club, but fully supportive of the job Ali McCoist is doing against all odds. At the match was Al Lamont. Malukos corner, Edu's header off the line. It was Liam Kelly on the post. Still the chance for Rangers, it's Bocanegra at the back post. But Edu, the man who came closest to the opening goal. Nelson. Gordon for Hay. McGoyan's misjudged that, and Heffernan now with the chance. Picks out Shields. Oh, it's an opening goal for Kilmarnock. And Dean Shields silences the capacity crowd, but for that small corner of Kelly fans. Mugoyan committed himself needlessly. That was the start of Rangers' problems, and Shields increased them. It's a lovely goal, in fairness. Heffernan picking out his strike partner, and Dean Shields did the rest. Steve Davis losing out, and this is Paul Heffernan, who should really have done better there. Tell by the look in his face that he knows that. Kelly getting the break of the ball off the referee. Nice pass from Fowler. Hefferin has to hit the target. On the close corner. There's Pocanegra with a glancing header. And again, Cami Bell not called into action. Heffernan. A lovely turn by Gary Hay. Here's Ben Gordon. Is it two for Kilmarnock? Again, Ben Gordon really has to at least test Alan McGregor from this position. It's on his favoured left foot. Just has to put the laces through it. Broadfoot looking for options. Aluko in for McCulloch. Breaks away a broad for this David Healy with the equaliser. Oh, it's chopped off. It's offside against David Healy. That's extremely close. It was a good finish from Healy, who's taken out of play by Fowler. And the goal doesn't stand. He. Heffernan off and running once more. Nice cut back. There's Fowler! Inches wide. There's another really good move from Kilmarnock. Heffernan with the vision to pick out the runner Fowler, who only just fails to hit the target. Rangers looking for an equaliser before half time. It's a look up. Has been one of the few looks likely to provide it. Cami Bell at the second attempt clutches the ball on the line. It just took a little nick off Gary Hay, which caused the confusion. Bell recovers. Playing for a handball, dismissed by the referee. Oh, Papac goes in heavily. It's a red card for Sasha Papac. A rueful smile on the face of the Bosnian. A heavy touch there. And you can see why the red card is shown for the challenge on Liam Kelly. Liam Bryan's with no hesitation. Ben Gordon cuts out the pass. And Kelly moved forward on the counter-attack. Gordon once more. Perry dives in, he's past him. Comes off the arm of Bocanegra. No chance. That was going to be a penalty, though, given the distance from the player to ball and there's no movement in the hand of Bocanegra either Gary Hay picks out Fowler it's Sissoko oh what a goal that would have been venomous shot by Sissoko didn't miss the top corner by that much 
On the cool corner, there's McCullough, the whistle's gone. And Rangers again denied an equaliser. Well, Ian Bryan says Chelik was guilty of holding here. Well, there doesn't look to be a great deal wrong with that. And Rangers justifiably, I think, miffed.